We're here with Kevin Fields, Assistant Team Director for Trek Live Strong U23. We just finished the tour of the Batten Kill. Kevin, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the day? Overall, I think the guys did exactly what we talked about before the uh, race and the race meeting. We knew that it was going to be a difficult day and a long day, and we really wanted to uh, be aggressive right from the beginning today, and just just in case something happened. And we were expecting a lot of just a lot of uh, general chaos in the in the dirt sections. And the guys were super aggressive from the beginning, and they were making all the moves. And uh, so I was overall I was really happy, and I think uh, just we had a few guys that had some illness and just weren't really having the best of day and at the end of the day we ended up with uh, with three guys in the in the field as the sort of key action took place and I think they just kind of missed out a little bit there when that big group of 11 and then Aaron Kemp's came back from Fly V and I think we just kind of got a little bit unlucky not making that move that uh, Caleb Farley and, and Floyd went in and then the three chasers. So I think the guys the guys did exactly what we talked about and they had a, a pretty good day and we, we know that Alex came about fourth or so in the bunch sprint. We don't know yet 100% where he came, but he'd had a great bunch kick at the end. So overall, I'd say we're really happy. And I was really pleased with Timmy actually, because Timmy was having a, a bad day, you know? At the end of the first 100 kilometer lap, he was really struggling. And he just showed a lot of grit and he kind of like fought and got his way back in and he ended up finishing up the day. So I think that was a really good, it was a really good day for Tim.